and groovy. No, no. Well, that's just a preamble, groove preamble. Now, <laughs> you know, uh, Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president, was it 16th, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. One, once said that a man never stands so tall as when he steps out of the way for large comedy props. So, <laughs> let's take a look now at some of the finest new products and inventions that American technology has to offer. Bring it in, boys, and look out. Don't get hurt. It is. Da, da, da. New gift items. These will uh, soon be on your store shelves all around the country. Yes, sir. So you, you can see how big they are. You, you know they got to be funny, right? <laughs> you know, everyone loves those uh, cute sayings on mugs and bumper stickers, but, but let's face it, folks. Most are distortions of the truth, if not outright lies. So if you've got integrity, you'll get yourself some of these honest mugs and bumper stickers. For, in, for example, this one right here that says, I go bowling because I'm fat and I drink. <laughs> the electricians do it with their wives or if unmarried, with their girlfriends. And finally, ask me about my grandchildren if you want to hear dull, endless anecdotes. Uh, if you have fish as pets, you know how important it is that they get plenty of exercise. So, <laughs> so keep your finny friends fit and trim with this. It's the aquarium exercise reel, wheel, aquarium exercise wheel. Let me turn it on for you, and look out. There we go. Okay, maybe. Those, of course, are just prop fish. <laughs> uh, sick and tired of those cutesy refrigerator magnets that look like fruits and vegetables? Boy, I know I am. In fact, they look like anything but refrigerator magnets. Well, now you can amaze and baffle your friends with this set of magnet-shaped refrigerator magnets. Take a look at these boys. Yes, it's an old-fashioned idea with a jet age twist. Magnet-shaped refrigerator magnets. An old-fashioned idea. An old-fashioned idea uh, with a dead age twist. Excuse me. Yes, Dave? Paul. What can I do for you? Oh, there is a camera. <laughs> what exactly is a uh, a jet age twist? <clears throat> it's just, just a gimmick. Nothing. Okay, let's move right along, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> do you have a cluttered desk? Well, take a tip from nature's neatest creature, the spider. With this artificial desk web. Let me show it to you right here. There it is. You'll be able to keep your belongings in apple pie order, and yes, like the real thing, it stops bugs in their tracks. A stapler, a tape dispenser, a telephone, paper clip, pencils, a rubber stamp, a notebook, and many, many more. Why, thank you. On Sunday, May 25th, millions of Americans will join hands in a line from coast to coast to celebrate Hands Across America. But filling out the line in sparsely populated areas could be a problem. Well, that's the idea behind this specially tailored jacket. It's a fashionable... We <laughs> it's, it's a fashionable way to say, hey, people, let's get involved. <laughs> this has turned out to be a lot of fun, hasn't it? Uh, anyone who's ever slept in a bed knows, knows the nuisance of having to constantly flip your pillow over to the cool side of the pillow. Well, that's why you need this mechanical pillow turner. It does all the work, allowing your blissful sleep to continue uninterrupted. And it's ideal for infants. Turn it on, boys. Turn it on, boys. Well, his drive shaft is broken. Okay, I think we all... Oh, there it is. Why don't you get up and get a job? Get out of bed and go to work, you bum. Okay. Yeah, I think the sound effects help. 
You know, kids, ant farms have always been a priceless introduction to the workings of nature, but staring at those tiny insects could your, give your youngster a headache, and that's why I recommend the new improved version of that. It's simply called the dog farm, and here it is. It's the dog farm. <laughs> Always a fascinating find and stores easily in a second Homer warehouse. Hi, boys. Hello. <laughs> Poor guy here. Uh, we, have a, uh, we have a really good show for you folks. It will begin, uh, what, a couple of minutes from now, so come on back, folks. Thanks for being here.